Hi and welcome to Select 10. In this video I have listed top 10 shows to watch after Lucifer. But before that as we know Lucifer stands out amongst most of its contemporary shows. Due to the right mix of mystery, drama, and supernatural elements. Also, the series has a huge fan following. And in this video I have put together a list of 10 best shows to binge watch if you are a fan of Lucifer. And in Lucifer's words, let's get to it then, shall we? On number 10. We have Penny Dreadful. In this TV series, Dracula is described as the first vampire. Who is an fallen angel from heaven and is a Lucifer brother. They were expelled from heaven after failing to take over the throne of God. Lucifer was thrown to hell and ate the soul of the dead, while his brother was condemned on earth and drank living blood. Therefore he became the first vampire. There is a prediction if the original vampire bites a human named Vanessa Ives, then a new era full of darkness alias. End time will begin. On number 9. We have Winona Earp. Winona Earp has been away from her hometown, Purgatory, for years. But returns to reluctantly take on the role. That Wyatt Earp's heir is destined for. A demon protector. Her task is to take out Revenants. Here Revenants are the resurrected souls of the criminals. Who were taken down at one time by her great-grandfather. On number 8. We have Warrior Nun. The show's story has an interesting twist on the supernatural. Especially when it comes to secret orders and the inclusion of the Catholic Church. Here an orphan girl wakes up from the dead with supernatural powers. Then she discovers that she was given a powerful weapon by a secret organization of the Catholic Church. The Order of Cruciform Sword is an ancient society of warrior nuns. Dedicated to eradicating demons from Earth. Many are after the girl's source of power for their own gain in Hell. On number 7. We have Forever. Forever can be described as an intriguing mix of Grey's Anatomy and Lucifer. The show's plot orbits around Dr. Henry Morgan, who is a full-time immortal medical examiner and part-time crime solver for the New York Police Department. He struggles to find a way to end his immortality while solving criminal cases. Each time he dies, Henry disappears almost immediately and returns to life. Naked in a nearby body of water. Apparently. Henry is like a combination of Ella and Cain from Lucifer, but with a more troubled past. On number 6. We have Good Omens. This fantasy series sees. Fussy Angel Aziraphale and loose living demon, Crowley. And they both team up to form an unlikely duo. The two have become overly fond of life on Earth, and they are forced into forming an alliance. In an attempt to stop the approaching Armageddon. To do that, they have to find the missing Antichrist, an 11-year-old boy. Who is unaware that he is meant to bring the end of days upon humanity. Of course there does, otherwise... On number 5. We have Preacher. In this series, a small-town holy man Jesse Custer, who becomes possessed by the angel demon offspring called Genesis. One day, one Genesis fell to earth and entered the body of Jesse Custer. From then on Jesse has a great ability to control anyone at will. He can even call the angels and send people to hell. After Genesis escaped from heaven, there were two angels descending to earth. They transform into human and plan to extract Genesis from Jesse's body. Thanks, no. On number 4. We have Shadow Hunter. This show tells the story of Larry Frey. A ordinary teenager living in Brooklyn with her mother. One day, she discovers that she is one of the Shadow Hunter. A human beings born with the blood of angels in their bodies. The Shadow Hunter struggle to protect our world from the devil. After her mother was kidnapped, Clary had to work with three Shadow Hunter. Jace, Alec, Isabel and her close friend Simon on a quest to find her mother and restore her past. On number 3. We have Supernatural. This show tells the story of two brothers. Who follow in the footsteps of the father in becoming a demon hunter. And hunt supernatural beings like evil spirits, monsters, demons, and deities that inhabit Earth. Also of course there are various angels. And demons in this TV series. And as they seek their lost father, these two brothers help many people. With the supernatural problems they face. On number 2. We have American Gods. American Gods is a unique take on the traditional gods of various cultures. Hence, it was bound to raise some eyebrows. The story begins with a grief-filled ex-con named Shadow Moon getting released from prison to learn that his wife is dead. And he's tricked into running errands for Mr. Wednesday who is a Norse god and soon Shadow follows Wednesday. Into a supernatural world filled with dark humor and gory fights, believing he's fighting for his destiny. On number 1. 
we have Constantine. John Constantine, a demon hunter and dabbling master of the occult, must struggle with his past sins. While protecting the innocent from the converging supernatural threats that constantly break through to our world due to the rising darkness. The boundary between Earth and Hell is getting thinner. The demons claim to have found a way. To get into the human world. Meanwhile John had to rise from his downfall. To protect the entire human race. Nana. That's it for today's video. I hope you like this suggestions. And do like, share, and subscribe my channel for more awesome series and movie suggestions. And thank you for watching this video.